Hello everyone, this is your boy Gizmo GX and welcome to week 4 of the RCF. As always, be sure to check out last week's RCF battle when we faced off against the Phantom Michael, who was actually the lead of the PLCL. So definitely go ahead and check that out in all the other previous weeks. Now, first things off, I want to apologize to my boy Rebel Trainer, who we're going up against this week, aka the Buffalon Say uh, Sabres? Saber? Uh, uh, Sabres? Sabres? Oh, okay. I hope, hopefully, I didn't butcher your team name, you know? Uh, <laughs> first things out, Rebel Trainer, I'm so sorry. If you're watching this video, I'm so sorry uh, uh, for delaying this for like almost two hours. Jeez, I feel bad. I, I wanted to point that out because, you know, I, 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 I want to take ownership of the stuff that I do wrong. And oh my god, I almost thought I had the wrong items on these Pokemon, but I think I did not. But, anyways, um,. So in terms of, okay, let's just go for random. I think depending if I have time to edit, I might edit in some my own, well, not my own music, but some other music that's outside of Pokemon or might just include whatever comes up here, depending on how much time I have to edit this. So anyways, um, without further ado, uh, the team that I built for this week, I kind of jumbled it both together. Actually, to be honest, when I had my match with Phantom Michael, the following no actually it was that same night i built this team and then because i knew i wasn't gonna have time so honestly from what happened about a week ago i don't remember what i created <laughs> i don't know why i built it i just saw it and i created you know that that's all that's all <laughs> that's all that's all i'm gonna say i'm not sure what rebels actually gonna bring so I did tell him in the chat, I mean on the kind of like Discord chat the, of all the members of the RCF to bring in that Gengar because I need to take him down. Yep, he brought the Gengar and that is what I wanted. I wanted that Gengar dead. I want that Gengar dead for killing Drilladon on Monkferno's side. So this is some revenge. I, I mean, if I lose this match, I mean, I'm not trying to lose this match, but if I do, I want to take that Gengar with me, you know, I'm taking that Gengar with me. And anyways, look at our team. We are we have Cinderace, we got Regigigas, we got Celebi, Gudra, uh, I forgot your name, Ferrothorn, and uh, I forget your name, god damn it. Uh Lincoln Rock, right? Yeah, I think it's Lincoln Rock Dust Form or Midnight Form. I think it's Midnight Form. Yes. Alright, I haven't played Pokemon in such a long time. Especially Gen 5 or 6. I think I'm getting those wrong. Anyways, um, I'm gonna give you guys like a couple 30 seconds until the end of this timer to think about what the nicknames are about. I, I think it's pretty obvious. I think I'll be talking about throughout this battle. So, Ooh. okay. So honestly, do I really want to set up my rocks here? Do I really want to set up my rocks? You know what? Frick it. <laughs> I'm gonna set up my rocks. I think it might cost me the game, but you know what? Frick it, guys. <laughs> um. This is actually the first appearance of Blackbeard. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. So honestly, I don't know what he's gonna bring up. I think he's gonna set up with um, Scolopy. He could easily just win this from there, to be honest. Ooh, what is this music hearing? Oh, oh yeah. Hyping it up, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, yeah, boom, bum, bada, bum, bum. You know what, if I actually lose this week, it's is it gonna be oh no it's not oh he's gonna go for the taunt should i predict the taunt and go for the knockoff should i do that oh my god if i if he taunts me if he taunts me god damn it god damn it all right the rocks is definitely gonna be a very freaking issue dang All right, this is gonna be bad. All right. He set up the freaking rocks and he thunder waved me. How freaking perfect this is, huh? This is already a threat. <sighs> All right. Mm. Big boy plays. He honestly has a shot to just destroy me. This, this is very, this music in the background is just terrifying right now. Honestly, I feel like Rebel Trainer is like, it's like Phantom and slightly salty. You combine them together and the level of difficulty just goes way up high. Now, does that scare me? Yeah, yeah, it does. You know, I wouldn't be human if I, if I wasn't, if I wasn't afraid of this, to be honest. 
So I don't know what he's going to do. Is he going to go and try to kill me off? He is trying to try to kill me off. Dang, this is bad. This is bad. He lowered my defense. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, he did. Okay, I got my own stealth rock. And honestly, do I need this Feral Thorn? Do I honestly need this Feral Thorn? I kind of do. But he, I think he has Defog or Rapid Spin. But I wish he does. I hope he does have Defog because Defog works on both of the typings, I think. So... I'm gonna go get some spikes up, and that that's that's all there is to it. I hope he just kills me off. I mean, I, I think it's really bad to let Ferrothorn go down here. I am. Um, what do I have? Rocky helmet on this guy? I think I do. Yeah, he's gonna go for the stall fest. I know that. I know for a fact. Um. Noivern is his only mod to have anything to reduce, I think. So I'm gonna go again the leech seed. I'm just gonna go for the leech seed. Yeah, just go I'm just gonna go for the leech seed. I need to. I'm gonna be here for a while, so you know the the parahax is something that pisses me off, but like Bartomelio, Bartomelio, please, my boy, be the love and savior of the squad. <sighs> Yo, actually, 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 okay, I got the leech seed up, better late than never, I guess you can say that, he could easily swap out, he could go into anything else he wants, and I think he wants this thing dead because of Gengar, so he could go ahead and sludge wave away, I, I honestly think that's why he's gonna preserve it, to be freaking honest with you guys. But I want to get at least one set of spikes. Or at least two. At least survive. Long enough. Long enough for me. Long enough for me. Okay. I want to set it up to the point where he's going to get Scolopede in here. He could do that and he could set up and wreck house. If he does that. Huh. All right. That is more important to me, but I think this guy gets rapid spin. I honestly think this guy gets rapid spin. Don't recall much because honestly, when I was looking at this team, I was seeing what he has in terms of rapid spin spinners or default spinners or anything of that sort. So, <sighs> Bartimelo is doing his job. I, I, I'll, I'll put it that much. I'm just going to knock off. I'm just going to knock off. Oh, no. Oh no, I, I see what this guy is doing. I know what he's going for. I know what this guy is going for. I know what this guy is going for. He's going for the iron defense. Do I have anyone to just tank this? Do I? I do. I actually do. Yeah, I do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get some leech leech seed shenanigans in here. I don't know what this guy gets though, to be honest. Oh my goodness! All right, so I got some chip damage off. Hmm, not what I wanted though. Not what I wanted. Um, I'm trying to remember what else this guy has. I don't know if I should. Bartemolo, you did your job. You did good. But honestly, it's the Scolopy that really is what I'm afraid of. And I don't know if I will have what it takes. So I don't want to take out Jinbei too soon. And Princess Vivi? Hmm. Yeah, I might have to. Yeah, I might have to go with Princess Vivi right now. Yeah, I'm going to go with Princess Vivi. All right. This guy might have done the wave on this guy just because of the defensive tank tankiness this guy is. So I wouldn't put it past. And my focus has just broke. I completely forgot about that. You know what? Screw it. Whatever. All right, Princess Vivi. Aura Seer. Can you one shot? No, you can't. Yikes. Ooh. I don't know if you could take a hit, though. 
Oh god. Oh, it hits twice? Alright. Hmm. Should I predict that he might actually go into the fact he might go into Gengar? If he goes into Gengar, I'm just gonna go Shadow Ball. I'm, I'm not gonna front. I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball. If he's if he goes into Gengar, I'm Shadow Balling. If he goes into this guy. Yep. Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball away. Alright. Shadow Ball it is. Bam. Yep. Alright. At least Celebi gets one kill. One kill. I wish I really wish he jumped into the Gengar. That would have been the most <laughs> amazing thing I would have done. So that was probably the easiest move in my career. And unfortunately. Celebi is out in the open and I really can't do anything against the Gengar if he G-Maxes. I might just have to stall it out. Hmm. Alright, I, I only managed to get that much. This is not looking good at least. Celebi does do damage, but once... A Celebi could do damage, guys. I, I know. I know Celebi could do damage. I know he's kind of still valuable, but at the point that it is, I might as well let him die off right now. Because, honestly, I know there's no other Pokemon I really want to switch into with this guy. Hmm. Might want to go into Ace, to be honest. Alright, I'm just gonna stay in and just Psychic. It might- I really don't got much to go against this. I could go into Gudra. Maybe I should. Nah, I'll just stay in. Yeah, he was gonna fake out. Ooh. Yikes. Alright, I am just- Dang. I should've just swapped out knowing that the fake out was a thing. I don't know. Alright, now, now definitely. Alright, what are you going to go into? Depending on what you go into is... Can it be the Gengar? Can you, go, can you go into the Gengar, please? Can you go into the Gengar? I want the Gengar. If it goes into the Gengar, I'm pulling off Regigigas. I'm pulling off Regigigas. Just putting that out there. I'm putting in Regigigas. Tell me who you're gonna send off. Zoom? <sighs> Alright. Jimbei. Jimbei. That, that's the only reason why I brought Jimbei. It's the only reason why I brought Jimbei. So you do you. You go ahead and do you, all right? You do you. And I'm just gonna flamethrower away. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flamethrower away. I wonder if he's gonna sword stance, to be honest. He could sword stance. He's got the speed boost. But the moment he attacks me, that's it. So what do you want to do? What do you want to do, Rebel? <laughs> this is really, this music right here in the background really got me intense. I only took one Mon and he took two of mine. Uh, I really wish the odds were not against me. But I believe in Jinbei. I believe in Jinbei. The GUI is going to counteract that speed boost. If he decides to switch out, that's really honestly the best thing he could have done. I honestly, do, I hope he does swap out though. In, in case he does manage to take down this guy, I still have things. I still have things for this. For to at least take care of Scolopy for a little bit. So he's gonna go for the Mega Horn. Can I live though? I could. I really wished I went for counter. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not gonna lie to you. So I'm going to take it down. 
Yep, I took down Zoom. That was probably the biggest threat of the squad. Probably the biggest threat of the squad, and I took care of him. So, Skolopede is dead. Jimbei, you die here. You did your job. You did what you had to do. And it's the Noivern. Okay. I'm kind of in a, a little bit of a bundle. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> it depends. Do I really want? I'll, I'll go for the Drake Meteor. Oh, if he missed, that would have been gorgeous. All right. He did not bring out what I really wish he did, though. No, uh, this is not looking good for your boy right now. All right, three are down, and <sighs> do I really want to bring him out now? Blackbeard. That might be the move, though. That might just be the move. All right, let's go, Blackbeard. All right. <laughs> This might be the move. This might be the move. This might be the move. I am just... No one here wants to take... Really. No one wants to take a stone edge here, so... Let's go. Full on Adam and Jolly. Let's do this. No guard. I think this was no guard. Wait. Wait. I, I think this is no guard. Oh my god, I don't think this is no guard. <laughs> Maybe I didn't put no guard on this guy. Oh my gosh If he decides to swap out yeah, he did I thought so I thought so Who is this? Dang Yikes all right, I took their cog. This is really a predicament. He could go into Mian Shao though. This is close. This is really close. I could take care of the Noivern. I think the Noivern is Choice Scarf though. That's why he swapped out, didn't he? If it's Choice, dang. I don't know if I could take the Mian Shao down from this range. What am I? Should I swap out? Hmm. All right, I have 37 seconds. I'm going to think about it right now. Do I have something to take care of? I don't. I kind of do. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to stay in. I'm choice scarfed. Ugh, but it won't do very effective damage, though. So. I'm going to stay in. Is he gonna go for the Dream Punch? The fact that I'm Choice Scarfed into it. I could have gone into Regigigas, but I think Dream Punch would have finished me off there. I think my only choice is. Oh my god, the music is playing now. Oh my god. I am kind of nervous. It's a 50 50 though. I could win this, but at the same time, I can't. I think this Mian Shell is faster than me, though. Yeah, thought so. He might go for the Dream Push. I thought so. Yeah, this is not good. 
Alright, I knew he was going for the Drain Punch. Damn it. Alright, this is bad. Yeah, I have to stick into face. I have to stick into ace. Oh well. I, it's not over till it's over, they say, but honestly, at this point, I don't have this guy choice carved and not many options. Not many options. Not many options. Not many options. Yikes. Dang. I didn't kill the Gengar. I'm sorry, Duraludon. I thought I could have done it. I am so sorry. Oh my god, I actually managed to kill him off. Yikes, this is uh, this is something. This is something. This is something. This is really something. Yikes. <sighs> really close match. I'm on my knees. Toothless. I'm gonna go for the sucker punch because why the heck not? Uh, yeah, that's all I really can do. Oh my goodness. It all comes down to Regigigas. Dang, I failed you, Duraludon. I could not get revenge for you. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. I, you know what? I, I'm not even sad about the match. I'm just sad I could not get the Gengar out. Eh, this is... This is very bad. Alright, I'm gonna try to stall this out as much as I can. And just get the Thunder Wave going. He won't be able to do much. Let's get the Regigigas going. If he swaps out, that'd be good. But at the same time, that wouldn't be good. Is he gonna switch out? Yeah, he is gonna switch out, isn't he? Boo. I'm gonna go for the Thunder Wave. Oh my goodness. This is close. I paralyzed him. Oh no. I, I honestly don't know. Ah, uh, frick. Let's go for the knockoff. That's all I'm really gonna go for. No, <laughs> this is really a close match. It's down to the wire, Regigigas against the world. Against the world, Regigigas. Oh my god. Go and do it. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And it's paralyzed and I knock off. And I knock off. And I lost to Rebel. Alright. GG. I lost to time though. But anyways. That was a wonderful match. No, no saltiness whatsoever to be honest. Now whatever. You know I was bound to lose. But the only thing that. Uh, I'm so sorry Duraludon. I'm really really sorry. I honestly I'm going to title this episode. Duraludon. Forgive me my friend. Duraludon forgive me. All right, so this is Future Geo. Hello, everyone, and I hopefully this doesn't sound a little bit too awkward. This is my first time ever doing this, where Future Geo, Future Geo, uh, or Future Gizmo comes into the past. I guess you can say, or yeah, it comes from the past, or comes from the future to the past, and talks about the what if scenarios. So. Uh, me and Rebel Trainer decided to go once the battle ended, go on Discord, talk it out, see how we could go ahead and arrange this battle. Even though it seemed like hope was all lost for my boy Frankie. Uh, and 
So what we decided to do is recreate it on Showdown. So we move this battle to Showdown and we try to recreate it as best as possible. So with all the hazards or everything that was on the field, try to layer it as perfect as possible. And that's what you're about to see. So what we had to do first was set up the stealth rock. I'll probably press play in a little bit. And so basically he had to set up the stealth rock on his end. I set up the stealth rock and one layer of spikes on my end. And then once I set up the spikes, I immediately go into Regigigas. And then he still stays in with the Mon that he'll have present. And then I go for the Thunder Wave. And then that's where he swaps into his Gengar, which brings us back to the end of the battle. That was just a couple minutes ago or a couple seconds ago that you guys just witnessed. And I knock off and just continue on going and trying to recreate the scene as much as possible which we'll see in a little bit so i might as well just create instant replay as things are going on and honestly i was kind of surprised you know i thought this was the end for your boy i thought you know this is the first time we get an l on week four i mean we kind of did that for last week i think or no i think i got the l on week five not too sure on that but as you can see right now, we are recreating the scene. So now I go for the Thunder Wave. He goes for the G Max. And since in the original, he got paralyzed, he went for a ghost move, so it wouldn't do any damage on me. So I went for the knockoff, kind of in the similar situation. And he goes for the max overgrowth because he was going to do that eventually. And that's what he told me. And I knock off, pick up the kill on Gengar. Yeah. I actually got the revenge on Derelodon, so that's what's up. So he goes into his um, Noivern. I paralyze it. And here's the most crucial part that happened. Frankie, my boy, went is super and got his slow start. So, and that basically played such a huge, a huge play. Like, it was a huge role in this. The fact that he got his slow start and got his crap together he managed to pick up the kill and honestly one thing that even he didn't actually think about was that the max overgrowth gave me extra health that actually led to my survival and that's why i won this battle and i picked up the 1-0 so i'll take it i'm not proud of it though i'm not proud of it but i guess i should take any win i guess but if i had the chance to play battle rebel one-on-one -on -one again i will um definitely this is a match i really want to replay because it could have been different and I could have lost. So I, I guess I'll just take the W. But with that being said, I'm going to take it off to a future Geo or past Geo and let them finish off this video. So, yeah. But anyways, that was a wonderful match. Definitely subscribe to Rebel Trainer. He's an amazing, fantastic battler, as you guys can see already. So um, also, uh, what was I going to say? Make sure to check out last week's video. And with that being said, this has been Gizmo GX. And we took our first L, you know, you know, it's always good to lose that way. You better improve. So no, you know, anyways, this has been Gizmo GX and I'll see you on the next week where hopefully we get a little bit of triumph as I, oh, as I mentioned earlier this week and going on, it's just going to get tougher and tougher and tougher. So, all right, S stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace guys.